there, my name is Kay Byfield, and this is your Art Speak Studio moment from Art Speak Studio in Dallas, Texas. And today I want to talk about the creative impulse, what it is that makes us want to be creative. I make art. I've always been crafty, and I've always wanted to do things my own way. I like to make crafts when I come up with an idea. I will do some research about materials perhaps, and I might look at examples of what other people have done, but then I like to come up with my own pattern and figure out how to make something that's original and that is totally mine. So going back to elementary school, I didn't like to follow the patterns that the teachers would hand out and I wanted to do my own thing. For instance, a few years ago, I decided to make Christmas stockings for all of my family as a Christmas present. And I wanted to make something that was unique. And as I thought about how I would design them, I decided it would be fun to make them look like elf boots. But I didn't know how to design the elf boots, so I looked on the internet and I found a lot of cartoons of elves. And then I figured out how I wanted them to look and I created a pattern and I made the pattern and figured out what the materials would be and how to stabilize them. The first ones were kind of floppy, but by the time I got stockings done for everybody in the family, they were looking pretty good. I don't know whether I became creative because I inherited it genetically or whether it was something that was modeled for me. My mother was always having projects. She did a period of stained glass. She reupholstered furniture. She refinished furniture. She made pottery. She did a lot of craft um, decorative items. She made all of her own pillows and, and window coverings and curtains. And she was very crafty my entire life. She even tried painting. And she did most of this without any instruction. She just figured out how things would fit together. And I watched that all my life and it never occurred to me that you should be afraid to do what you wanted to do. That it was fun to do something original that you came up with and solve the problems yourself. I think most people would be creative if they were willing to take the risks of failing. I think that the reason that people don't take those risks is that they're afraid that they will demonstrate their own incompetence that they're afraid that they'll waste time, that they're afraid that they will waste money, that they're afraid that other people will not uh, look upon them favorably because things don't work out when you're trying something new. And if we could get past that fear, that, that in, inability to take those necessarily risks, we would all be more creative and we would all have a much better time. As performance artist Eve Klein depicted in this photograph, taking risks calls for a, a leap. We have to make a decision that we're willing to try something and know that inevitably it's not going to come out in the way that we envision it. That we're going to get something that we may learn a lot but we may not come out with something that is exactly what we had in mind. But studies of creativity show that with experience, when you've learned a technique, when you've learned something about the materials, you're much more likely to be creative and go beyond what you know to try something new and different. They've also shown that the more that you have done things that were creative, that you've gone outside your comfort zone and tried new things, the more likely you are to try new things in other areas in the future. So creativity begets creativity. Maslow showed that, that creativity falls in the top level of his pyramid. 
that once your basic needs for food, shelter, safety, and love are met, then you can go beyond that to move into these areas of self-actualization and become creative. And that creativity goes a long way to adding more uh, joy in your life, making your life much risker, richer. Um, it reduces stress and anxiety. It makes you more willing to take risks in your future and enriches your life in every possible way. Because doing these things, creating something new has been so important to me, my big joy is sharing what I've learned and giving other people the skills and tools and encouragement they need to be creative themselves. And when I do that, I come up with strategies for how to move people beyond where they are into something new. And that, in turn, is creative for me. I don't think I need to sell you on creativity. If you're watching this video, you're already interested in being creative, and you're probably very creative yourself. The only thing I want to do here is make you understand how important this journey is for you. It's, it's, it's critical to your own well-being, your sense of joy in life, that you find ways to express yourself and challenge yourself and go beyond what you think you can do to see where you can really go. If you're watching this video, I'm sure you're already on that journey and all I wish you is more success. And until next time, happy painting. Thank you.